Okay, I want to do the review on the Senyo CRT TV. This one's a flat tube. I like the flat tubes, too. They're better than the LCD TVs. I just like the other CRT TVs. This one's built to last. This is actually... This TV is at least... Uh, let's see, this is, this is from 2005, so this is about... 13 years old, and it still works. You don't see if, uh, flat screens. Most flat screens don't run like that, that long. And this one's probably going to use less. It is making some ticket noise and I turn it off. I think the flyback's probably going bad. <laughs> There's the back of it. It says the signal in. Uh, it's good in here. It's where the texture date is. If you get to see that, I'll cut it. It's a good TV. It was quite a good TV. I had a, I had a one that had a big, bigger CRT in it. I had like a Signal. If you look at my previous video, my old video, I had one that was like a, had a, uh, one for 2003 and it had a bigger one. It was the same color as this one, it was gray, but the, uh, I guess it had a lot of hours on it and it was starting to go, because it had color problems. And it had my satellite dish and my game called was hooked up, the picture wasn't sharp anymore. This one, however, this has a good picture. I think it's a little weak because I have to turn the sharpness and the colors all the way up. Because I think it's a little weak. It doesn't seem it got much hours on it, but it got a lot, but not a whole lot inside it. The speakers are. Seeing so yeah, these good speakers, I mean, they don't put their good speakers on their cheap models of these CRTs. For all these reasons, because this one's the interface is different. This one's got, this, this one's got the same interface as the 2003 one had. My cat's trying to run around here, so I might get him out for a minute. And I'll show you the remote control. I'm trying to pack stuff. Okay, I'm trying to move stuff in. I got that dresser that I move. Um, so, yeah, and the remote control, I, I, this is the first time I had a thing to do with the original control. Usually, Senior remotes don't, like, first with the CRT TVs, they don't last, last as long. Their remotes are usually on CRT, for their, their CRT, it's only for CRT TVs. It's, it's so cheaply, cheaply built, it doesn't last long, it breaks easily. Because my I have my grandma's cheap, the one, like, the cheap model, black one out there, the extreme one. And it, uh, the remote control itself quit working. My, gr my grandma had to use a universal remote. I don't know if that has to be to do with the problem, but sometimes that causes a problem. There's something that's wrong with these singing days. Sometimes they have no function, no functioning problems. But this one has the original remote control, which is hard to see the, the combined with these uh, Senyo TVs. It's because the remote controls don't even last as long. The, the TVs themselves are outlast their remote controls. Um, this one you can tell it's newer because it says VCR, TV, cable, satellite, auxiliary. Yeah, it's got PlayStation 4, um, it's got DVD, so they, I can tell it's a little newer. This is high-end one, so it's got a whole bunch of other features. The only thing I hate about these seats, these Sanyo TVs is that you cannot turn the closed caption on and off without the remote control. No matter what, you have to have the remote control. The, the um, black one, you have to have the remote control do it. I might see if this remote control will work on the, the cheap one out there in my room. It's put up there now, but yeah, I want to see if that actually works. TV, I had the base up full blast. It has a really good base. Uh, if this you want to play Soul Tower 2 or Cruising SA, um, Gretchen Mismo 2 on PlayStation 1, uh, or Spider Man, the, the Sim Rainy Spider Man video game, um, and Typhoon Fever. It's, I mean, there's a lot of songs here that gets a lot of bass. I mean, you need Sonic Adventure for the Dreamcast. It had a lot of days coming out of this thing. This TV is not bad. And if you um, know, Sanyo made really good high speakers, even back in the old days. This is just like the same kind of speakers in a 80 Sears, like in Sears model TV. Because so Sanyo, I guess, made the chassis also used their audio system too. So this is just like the same one in Spat Bear's, um, uh, but the Sears, and it sounds like. This thing, I can tell you now, this TV sounds good, but this TV has 
stereo sound, which makes it good. Which most GTs didn't have the stereo sound, but they eventually did when CRTs are starting to wind down and LCDs start to get over. Because I think most people want the surround sound, but I don't like surround sound. I'm just, it's still too loud. The quality isn't clear. And it, it's just, you know, it, it's a waste of space to have a whole bunch of speakers. It's just a waste of space. You could just do something useful with the, uh, that, that space. So. I can tell you that you can tell you the remote control does light up though. Look like this. It's like this remote control. Where my uh, Panasonic uh, River Dragon tel television had a light up remote control. It, 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 see, it lights up when you press the button. And then the play button lights up. I forget which button makes. I can't find the light button here. There's a light button somewhere. No, I can't remember where I put the light. Where do you put the light button? But it, it has. Oh, the green, it does light up. I guess the LED, right? So these LEDs don't work no more. You see, the, the button lights up. Mm. Maybe the green is starting to burn out. And again, this thing is 15 years old, so I'm surprised if the LEDs are starting to burn out. Uh, display. Can you recall? It's got all kinds of buttons you can play with. If you got, it's got to be a chip. Yep. And input. It's got three inputs. It's got mm, <clears throat> two com um, composite in this video. However, the, the it, via one and two is the S video in composite. And it's got a um, it a component, but I think this TV could only, this is not an HD model. I think the scene did have an HD model. The scene does have an HD model. I think this is like a cheaper version of the HD, but it's like, so it's stripped down from the HD part of it. It doesn't have the HD feature. Just this TV is only a 480p TV, which is why I'm probably gonna get um, a bunch of SVU cables hooked up to this TV. So I do have to put the brightness on Soul Power TSL so to get this picture. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. And it's about exactly like the TV is doing and lights are dimming. And have the LED bulb in here. And there you go. It gets a clock on it too. That's why I was. I also has a clock on it. I like when CRT TVs have a clock on them. Just because you can change channels sometimes. RCAs, you change channels. I'll show the time, the channel, and stats of the channel on there. Like the stereo, audio, all that. And I'll just set the clock will be right here, like the RCAs. This yeah, it looks like it's a VCR, but it's kind of thing I'm gonna play with because. But does was no single. Component three is video three, so I'm not sure why they just said component three. Unless they this chassis was just in case there's a model that had three components. TV tuner, which is not being used. I gotta get a converter box for TV. Oh, my food's done. Oh, I forgot the that food's in there. <laughs> I, I, Okay, guys, I'm back. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I forgot a few was cooking back there. We just had just got that finished. Um, so uh, I have a fridge right now, so because it was too hot. But um, I'm here to show you here. Well, actually, let's, let's show you the menu first. The menu has presets. I don't like the presets. Presets are stupid. They don't get the best picture. Uh, a four by three or sixteen by nine, and I'll just put it on four by three. Uh, of course, the um, studio does support six by sixteen by nine. Since it does, um, the Xbox can do that. I don't think some th some things can do that about the component. I knew uh, Ford Racing on um, PS One has a sixteen by nine uh, thing on it. There's whole menus here. You can hear picture and sound. You have manual and there's whole here. I got a cool mode for best picture. Uh, sharpness, brightness. I had brightness turned down a little. I have I just cranked it a little. Contrast is up. Tint up. The colors up because it's almost the point where the TV's almost the colors are almost gone. I mean they're starting to fade. 
turn on the other. I would actually keep this off because it sounds like shit on that on. With this, this on. Yeah, the color in hints are like that. It's like pinterest. Or pinterest, that's funny. And there's like other things. I, I, the clock, you just go here, clock hit me. You know, it does have auto set, but. You can turn them on and off in case you have an internal sound system, which I did have in my stereo tip, and it's under the TV does. Because the stereo has more bass. But these speakers are fine for me. Um. New language. I see people play with these and accidentally change the language. I actually done that before. You see, yeah, you don't see the. What you don't see here is. Like I said, you don't see the. Plus captions. Yeah, I played the scan line. If you, if you turn this, oh, this is the audio input. See, if I put this, will turn it off. To miss it, um, do something weird in audio input. So I'm, I don't know if it's the um, scan line. I scanned the. Or I had it on because it helps the, the picture get more clear, a little more clear. Some TVs you don't need it on. This TV I did need it on. Oops. Um, so, and see, it won't be a one, but the Xbox is like that, but the Xbox has trouble. And his AV cables are starting to have some trouble. I'm trying to mute it. Let's see. Where's my audio? It's going to tower too. I'm not sure. It's probably actually turned down, but the TV is... Yeah, I got the Soul Tower 2 on. Huh. Let me actually turn the speakers off, didn't I? Yeah. Ooh. Transcending history and the world, a tale of souls and swords eternally retold. Okay, I want to say this, this sound, that sounds really good. Maybe this game was spawn, so. And the new one comes out now. Soul Caliber Two. Oh Versus Cassandra. I think I can play this one handy now. But the controller's not work correctly. The wires gonna mess up. But you see, I have a color guard too. They're trying to keep it's going to burn on the pause too, but it's kind of having trouble with the scan lines a little bit. You can just 
just to get that girl with it. And also the GameCube. The GameCube, I have to put the input too. <clears throat> it's got Pac-Man Fever in it. No, wait, wait, it's got Spongebob in it. It's got Spongebob Fly and uh, Revenge of the Flying Dash in it. This game is freaking hard. But this game is kind of hard. I actually remember written this game at Movie Gallery for Places Tale. <laughs> You guys suck. You're pretty good at this. Game sucks. It's time to tame it. That's gone too. Can I get the GameCube? I get the controller with the GameCube. Which is kind of neat. I'm not gonna play the game there, I wanna show you the hint. Okay, I'm not gonna play the game, because that game's pretty hard, but if I wanna play, I don't have the PlayStation to put that, because I gotta go back right in the behind it. Which, when it can plug one inputs. I got Dreamcast in the living room, so I can play it out there. I'll just play CDs. I don't know, I have another game somewhere. I had Pokemon staying somewhere. Sometimes the game doesn't want to load at all. Sometimes this has. This thing has an issue with itself. There'll be days it'll work and sometimes it won't. This is the pinders just getting old, and the uh, pins are starting to rust. So I'm going to put the fault apart. I think the cover for the pins or something, the cover part for the pins are just starting to come off. And the housing for the pins are starting to rust apart. And I'll show you the base is full of blast. See, I can't go any up higher. I can turn it down. You can see why I got you know, troubles up. Turn that on. I can't play this. I'll play the extra music. Oh, I'm not sure what's going here. I don't like to win now. It's the bass, because I had the bass on and I think the dicks are shaking a little bit. Or I had the TT loud and dicks are shaking. I can tell us a lot about this TV. This is the base of TV and it's a piece of cake. And I don't place this stuff too high. Somebody had uh, the arcade and the mall, like uh, Amazing Games had uh, Cruise in the World, and it had a lot of base. However, I couldn't play because the, the CRT monitor is starting to go out. Yeah, this is how I I I, think I got the Steve free. My friend said he has, he had a friend uh, he had a friend that was giving was getting rid of it and he thought me. He said I, I wanted it and I looked at it. It was a, this this TV and this is replacing a 13 inch Emerson TV because the Emerson TV had a problem that would shut itself off randomly. They could be they could on for a while and then it would shut itself off. I think there was some kind of fault with it, but who cares? It was just a cheap. Kuhn 9 TV. And that can Kuhn 9 suck. Started to suck. And, then, and it was a TV I wanted when I was a kid. I'm glad I didn't get it. Uh, Senyo. The Senyo TV. I, I like Senyo. I like Senyo, Panasonic, RCA. Um, all but the Kuhn 9 
TVs. I mean, the Food 9 TV, I think the Emerson TV was a flash Food 9 TV that had the Food 9 CRT in it. Because eventually, uh, Food 9 stopped making CRTs for some reason. Around, the, like, 2005-ish. I think it was, like, John Blake's fifth quarter 2005. I'm not sure if Food 9's uh, CRT line didn't take off as well. Because later on, they just went to uh, other vendors, like, Panasonic, because I uh, feel like I made the uh, door brand TV, but it had a Panasonic CRT in it. Which I should have took that CRT out of it, because actually it was a good CRT. But, um, yeah, I think eventually by around 2004 to 2005, Funai shut down their CRT division. Yeah, it's only now because they're, they're now looking at LCD panels, who knows. Um, but this TV was from the, uh, I think, a year after the, the original was made, because this is around 2005, like, probably a couple months. Okay, I won't see what it was made that shit. The TV itself. This TV is plugged to an out, plugged an outlet because I just don't want it plugged to power because it, it, it contains a lot of electricity. And it probably puts stress in the power strip. October 2005. See, October 25, and the model number is DS3. Three, two, four, two, four. So, that's a long number. So, yeah, this was almost a year after the, uh, Blue one was, that uh, Emerson one was made. Because the Emerson one was made December 2004. This was from, um, 2005. From October of 2005, so. Almost to the point where, I was almost 12 years old. My sister would have been, she was born in October, so she would have been at least, uh, eight years old, because I can remember, she's born in seven. And my brother would have been, already been 10 years old. He's born in 95. My brother was born in June. His birthday's coming up. I'm surprised his YouTube channel is still up there too, because he he's been, he did pretty much abandoned it. But um, yeah, but these these things right here, these are like the I like these shiny buttons that comes with. I like these shiny buttons instead of the uh, standard black ones. But the paint on the this the shiny mirror paint, it's got on it. It's all starting to mirror point wear down. And I'll go the TV. This sounds good. I like the TV. It sounds really good. It's got a good picture. And I figure out now that the bass makes it shake. But you know what? I'm not going to turn that bass down. That's good. Sounds good. But it's a good CRT. And I keep this plugged in straight into an outlet because I don't want to stress out the power strip when I turn it on because it will actually kill the power strip quicker. Because that one's a cheap, cheap one. But yeah. Reset. If you press reset, it factor sets the TV. There's no TVs today that does that. Factory set button. This is the only TV I knew that has a factory set button on it. Because whenever I press this, it will reset itself. If I show you that, I'll we'll lose your time, but I'll show you. It just resets it, and then it will factory set it. See? Press the key, the reset key again to reset that factory condition. So it, it's got a factor reset. Which, this isn't that weird, because I like what the thing is. They have a factor reset. So if you just something screw it up, it has a factor reset. The TV pretty much has a... It's a good TV. I mean, I like this TV. But it was I had before. So. 
I did get this. When I did get this, it had cheap batteries in it. And they are almost dead because I can barely get the remote to work. So what I did, I just had to put a new, I put one in my living, out my living room and got some new batteries, got new batteries and put in his remote control. Because the ones that was in it, already in it, were dying. I might take this remote control apart and see if so I can actually replace the LEDs in it. The green ones, because the green ones feel like they're going out. I think some of the orange ones are starting to go. Uh, I think it has to do with the age, because LEDs last about 10 years, and this is older than 10 years. And it's surprising that this thing actually still works. Bless me. It's because I actually turned it off. Yeah. Like I say, there's no closed captions. There's always closed captions on just pushing this button. And then it's got this, like, quick cap. I don't like quick cap. I hate that. I hate when there's... I hate when... Like, like, the only thing I hate about closed captions is when they go really too fast and it's hard to read them. Especially if you're at a, um, a restaurant that has closed cats on and it's hard to read them. They're going... I say, come on, turn read it. This TV is good. I like it. It's a good TV. It's uh, also hard. it's still making that kicking noise. Like that could be the fight back. Get ready to die. But I could probably get that replaced by somebody. See, I can actually put a convert a converter box in here because I got a, a an M5 antenna, but I also got a splitter. So. And uh, everybody's looked at this and said, like, if I had the DTV, I'll get, get the DTV signal. I'm just getting convert boxes. This is like, this one has, this one always has an analog tuner. So. Okay. It's always good TV. And then you get to plug in right, and they got all my plugs right here. What's funny is this is um only the room that has all the original outlets. It's just outlets are original for the trailer. But, yeah. TV's good. That's it. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Hey, I want thumbs up there. I want thumbs up. Of course, there's a thumbs up there. But yeah, this TV is good. It's a nice TV. Uh, it's later. Oh, hold on, wait, wait, wait. I'll tell you guys. I do get a new. I did get a new camera, but I need to get an SD card. Um, it's like a GoPro, like a. A knockoff of no, uh, it's a knockoff of a GoPro, but it's a full HD. And this camera on my family's only like 720p, so I'm happy I got a full HD one. So, just waiting for to get in the car for it. So, there you go. See ya.